Hi there, it's Jen from ModernMedicineLady.com and the Empathic Woman System, and the word of the day is repeating. And I have a hunch that some of you are going to really like this word of the day, and some of you are going to not necessarily like it or disagree with me. But, you know, is there ever anything that everybody likes? No, I didn't think so. So anyway... I've been doing some amazing work with a client recently, and one of the things that we've been talking about is how unnecessary it is to keep repeating the details of the story. How, if anything, repeating the details of the story keep us stuck, keep us going back to that emotional distress. And I was thinking about my own experience and how there is this way that when we go through something challenging, that when we have a difficult experience, that there is this tendency to get stuck at that moment of emotional impact. It's almost like if we were a record, the record gets scratched at that point. And so instead of being able to keep moving forward with the story, we keep repeating, we keep on getting stuck and going through that same tape loop, that same, that same little tiny moment of experience and remembering the same emotion again and again and again. And the thing about that repeating is that it it does a couple things. One, I know from my experience it keeps me stuck in this experience, in this moment in the past, and it really clouds my ability to perceive things accurately in the present. And it stops me from being able to move forward a lot of the time. It also prevents me from being able to see all of the ways that the story worked itself out and all of the ways that I grew from it, all of the ways that I triumphed from it, all of the ways that I learned from it. And ultimately, most of the time, how even if it sucked for a while, good came out of it in the end. Because when I'm stuck in that one emotional moment, I don't usually have the ability to see past that. And I don't have the ability to see that I'm okay. But the truth is that I'm recording this video right now because I am okay, because I did survive it. I've survived many things. And the truth is that no matter what you have been through, if you are watching this video, you survived every single thing that led you to this moment here and now. And that means that you got through it too. And there is that point at which we all get to decide if we want to keep holding on to that memory and that moment in the past and just keep letting it affect our present or if we are ready to let it go, if we are ready to acknowledge that, that you know, it's no longer ours to hold on to and that we survived it, that we got to the other side of it and that we are here now and chances are stronger for the experience. So my question to you right now is, is there a story that you keep repeating? Is there an emotional event or events that have a tendency to just keep repeating over and over and over again that are affecting the way you're living your life today, that are affecting the way you perceive your world and your life right now, and that may be affecting your emotions and triggering reactions and responses in you? And would you be willing to consider letting them go? Would you be willing to consider using something like tapping or EFT, which is ultimately the same thing or similar, um, as a way to release it, as a way to walk beyond or move beyond this at this point in time? So I'd love to hear what you have to say, whether you agree with me or you're like, no, I really want to hold on to these memories for the rest of my life. Um, I'd love to hear your comments. So please, you know, leave a comment below. And until next word of the day, I am wishing you peace and ease. And in the meantime, if you haven't already done it, please go take my What's Your Empathic Type quiz at empathicwoman.com to find out where you fall on the highly sensitive empathic spectrum. So until later, peace.